Let's take a look at how to identify biased samples. Connor asked his school's basketball team to rate the school cafeteria. Is this a biased sample of the school's population? Okay, well, when you see that word biased, biased means that it's not representative of the whole population of the school. There's something wrong with the way they sampled it, which might skew or change the data from being as accurate as it should be. Now, in this case, if he wants to know how the whole school feels about the cafeteria, he should randomly sample students from the whole school. He only asked the basketball team what they thought. So the reason that that's biased is because people that are in one particular group, in this case, the basketball team, are more likely to have a similar opinion than the, than the larger group, the whole school. Okay, and if you think about why, they have things in common, right? The, all the students on the basketball team, well, maybe they stay after school and play sports. So maybe they need to eat a little bit more at lunch. Maybe that changes the way that they feel about the cafeteria. Maybe they feel that the lines are too long and they don't have enough time to eat. Or basketball players tend to be really tall. So maybe they feel that the, the tables aren't, aren't big enough for them there. And again, I'm just giving examples. We don't know for sure that that's true. But the point is, when you're only sampling people from one group, they might have a different opinion than the larger group. So if he wants it to represent the school's population, he can't just ask the basketball team. He has to ask random people from the entire school. So that would be a biased sample since he only asked basketball players. A town runs a survey about the effectiveness of its government and gives it to everyone who shows up for a town meeting. Is the sample biased? Okay, well at a glance this might seem like it's okay, but the people who show up for a town meeting might not be representative of the whole town. Right, maybe the people who show up to the town meeting are more interested in the government, right? That's why they're coming to a government meeting. So they might have a different opinion than the whole town at large. So yes, the sample is biased they should send random samples to the whole town or at, to a random grouping of people from the town, every 10th person. Ava asked her school's basketball team to rate the school cafeteria. Is this a biased sample? Well, we already saw this one, yes, because they're only asking basketball players. Caleb asked all the hockey players if they like the new arena. Half of the people that use the arena are hockey players. Is this a biased sample? Well, yes, because if only half of the people that use the arena are hockey players, and they're only asking the hockey players, they're not really asking everybody. What about the other people that use the arena? Maybe they're figure skaters or some other type of skaters. So since they're not sampling everybody that uses the arena, it is going to be biased. They're only getting the hockey players' opinions. Elizabeth asked 14 members of every sports team on their thoughts about the gym. Is this a biased sample of what the sports teams think of the gym? Okay, well, she's asking members from every team, so that doesn't seem biased. That seems like it should be representative of all the sports teams. Now, notice they didn't say of the whole school. It just has to be representative of what the sports teams think. So that's why we're going to say no. Isabella interviews all the girls wearing dresses at an event to see what people think of the event. Is the sample biased? Definitely yes. First of all, she's only interviewing girls, so that means she's leaving out all the boys at the event, and she's only interviewing the girls wearing dresses. So she's also leaving out any of the girls that are not wearing dresses. So that's not representative of the whole population. It's only representative of the girls wearing dresses. So yes, that would be a biased sample. Matthew asked the students and staff at her school to rate the cafeteria. Is this a biased sample of the school's population? Well, it seems like she asked, like he asked everybody, right? All the students and the staff 
So that's not biased. While working on the furnace in her house, Isabella checked the temperature of every room. Was her sample biased? No, if she checked every room, that's gonna be representative of every room in the house. Principal Chloe used all the student records at her school to determine the average distance her students lived from the school. Is this a biased sample of the students? Well, she used all the records, so she took all of her students into consideration, so no, that's not biased.